All right. Hey, what's going on to all of my uh, tours? So I actually did this video, and then some stuff started happening. Ah, every time. But the cards that I come up with for the uh, Taurus is the Ten of Swords, the um, the Strength, the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Moon, the Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so... What I'm seeing here for uh, you, Taurus, is I'm seeing how a lot of you, Taurus, kind of, okay, um, nine of, of, excuse me, ten of swords, strength, knight of swords. A lot of you, Taurus, are thinking about kind of regretting how the dating pool is, and you wish that things could have been different, right? You wish that you could have at least just been with one person for the rest of your life, or for a very long time at least, you know? Lover, the Taurus does represent the lovers, right? As far not major arcana, but I mean is they're known as the lovers in the in the um the zodiac. So a lot of you are kind of thinking a little bit too harshly about yourself, yourselves as opposed to I should say as about what it is. <sighs> oh my gosh. So much stuff is happening, yo. But you're, you're thinking about the type of stuff that could have happened and where you should have been and what you should have had and what, you know, if you only knew what you knew now. And the strength card in the Knight of, of Swords represents, don't even worry about it because we're in the age of Aquarius, okay? And in the age of Aquarius, now in the age of Pisces, the, the people who are untrustworthy, disrespectful, you know, criminals, people, basically the dregs of society could have essentially have gotten away with it because Pisces represents the zodiac sign of forgiveness. So a lot of people see that's part of criminality, right? Or being disrespectful or being untrustworthy, basically, right? The type of games that you play, that you see people playing out here nowadays it's really based upon some stuff that's really outdated. It really is because it's the perspective of if I do certain things to you or whatever the case may be, what are you going to do about it? But again, they're trying to pull or draw from the age of Pisces and the age of Pisces is not here anymore. We're in the age of Aquarius since 2012. So now we're in the age of Aquarius. It means that the people who who, who who use that type of tactic where it's like, oh, well, I'm going to do this type of underhanded stuff to you, right? Even though I'm saying I'm supposed to be getting to know you, I'm going to do you dirty. And you're not going to do anything about it because you're going to forgive me. Is over. <laughs> now, when these people kick, you're going to, uh, you right? You're going to kick back. People kick back nowadays. So what it, so what I'm trying to say about it is is that you shouldn't be worried about you know you can't believe that the the state of the dating pool is like this cuz this is how a lot of people are going to do it and a lot of people are going to get themselves caught up in the first place with these games cuz now what are you starting to see you're starting to see the same people who like playing those games acting like they knew everything now you're starting to see a whole lot of people who were pumped up on that ego of theirs that they guarded so much, now they starting to look a little bit more ordinary now. Like they, you know, you, you can tell they struggling. They trying to figure it out. But then you have the Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. The Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups represents, it represents this situation where what you've got going on is you shouldn't feel bad about this. You should you should leave them behind because this is what it is that they wanted in the first place. So now they're getting what they deserve. See, people shouldn't tolerate criminals like that. You know what I mean? It because it, it really depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about burglary where there's no weapons or any of that stuff, and you just you know what I'm saying, breaking into a person's house by picking a lock and stealing some stuff from them. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, you know, you wouldn't want somebody to do that. But there's no, there's no, 
there's no real harm in that. You know what I mean? So in in that in that sense, where like you're taking, you know, you're you're you know what I mean? Like you're really hurting people. But when it comes to like the type of stuff that where you are hurting people, right? In a sense, in a sense that you're trying to convince people by playing games that you really like them and then you dip out or you on this manipulative thing, try to play games with them all over the place. That stuff should be less tolerated. And this is why it is that I say you got to let go of moralism because moralism, right? <laughs> this is what the three of wands represents to a certain extent. It, it, to a certain extent, it's, it says that you're holding on to your moralism. And I'm here to tell you, forget about moralism. Forget about it. Because you're holding on to this sense of forgiveness, which is going to do you worse than it is going to help you. Because people who play these games, they're going to continue to play these games with you because they're going to rely on your forgiveness. But what happens when you stop forgiving them and only after until you get them out of your life and you say, I'm going to excommunicate you, then I forgive you. Then what happened? Then they're not going to have so much value. So you, so, or you can continue on with the moralism and continue to get messed up. It's up to you. Moralism. And I, and I, can show and prove this. Anybody in the comment section could be like, oh, well, let me, I, I, I want to find out some more about this. Moralism has not solved any problem in, in human history. None. Not a single one. Because you know why? Because moralism is political and we don't get into politics here on this channel, which means that we don't get into moralism. We get into what works without having, without having you to give up your soul. What works? As long as you don't, as long as I'm not trying to get you to compromise yourself, which I'm not, but going with what works. Forget about moralism. Forget about all that other stuff. Forget about it. It doesn't work. Moralism is the type of stuff that'll have you forgive the enemy, turn your back on the enemy when you know that the enemy is a sworn enemy, and then the enemy do something funny behind your back. Next thing you know, you're down. Oh, I, no. Strike down your enemy and feel happy doing it. Why? Because they're an enemy and they wouldn't do it to you. Same situation here. Let these people go. Forget about them. Don't even worry about them. Don't ever feel bad for leaving someone you know was trash. <laughs> then you have the, the moon. The three of cups and the two of, of cups. Be scarce. Take your time. Do the healing. Figure out what's going on with you. Do the emotional work. Therefore, you can heal from the baggage. And then after that, right, or I should say, as you're doing it, think about the types of relationships that, that what you had. Think about what was going on um, as you're going down memory lane. Think about the types of, of um, the relationships, the relationship habits that you've had, the other person has had, what you've learned, what was going on, two of pentacles, and then figure out a solution to the problems that you have in dating, of course, and anything else. The, the, um, the queen of wands in the page of uh, pentacles is the Queen of Wands represents, you have two choices. You can continue to do it the same way and, and be bullheaded, right? Be, be thick-headed, dense, and think, well, no, you're going to have it this way. And you can have it and go ahead, do that. You can go through it that way. Or you can go through the, the route of changing up a few things, right? At least have a better chance. I'm not going to say you're going to absolutely get a significant other that fits you in it's well but you can at least have a, a a a good chance or a better chance at getting what you want let's get into it figure this out okay cool Thank you. 
let's clarify the page of pentacles so you have the page of wands four of pentacles page of swords three of cups right so the page of wands is is that learn to be more ruthless gotta stop being so loyal right you know taurus can be loyal to a fault mm -mm, not virgo mm -mm. <laughs> right because virgo is mutable in nature virgos can be a good ally but virgos could also be like i'm a, i'm gonna be an enemy of yours because of x y z or or look to get you out of the way or i'm just gonna stay out the way with taurus it's not that way taurus is loyal to a fault so the page of wands four of pentacles represents don't be loyal to a fault search for value right and when i say value i mean don't try to get the person to be obligated to compensate you for your time. But see, time is connected. Shout out to Crimson Cure, but time is connected to procreation, which means that you will only understand a person's true, you'll only get an idea of a person's true value in time. A lot of times people come out here, they're trying to, they're trying to rush other people to show them their value show me your value show me your value no you're talking about everything that i'm worth no i can't do that why you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to get an idea all in one day it's not gonna happen and it, and it shouldn't happen with y'all and you shouldn't let anybody pressure you into trying to show them your value in in what 24 hours no my family, yo, my family, my family, within the past couple of years, has started to be like, oh, when it comes to me showing my own value, they're starting to be like, oh, okay, oh, 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 okay, so some of the stuff that you was talking about, it really did come into fruition, oh, okay, wow, mm, I, okay, I didn't know that, oh, wow. <laughs> And they're and I'm the last one. I'm the last one. They're all older than me. My siblings are all older. Than me. And I'm showing them a, a thing or two. It's not gonna happen in one day. It has to happen over the course of time. And this is why I'm I'm saying people who get themselves into dysfunctional relationships, you, you have to admit it. You have to. Because saying that's not what it is that you wanted, you plan. Because over the course of time, time is the ultimate ruler of value versus versus low value. So if a person is low value and they're being on some BS and they're playing games and all this other type of stuff and they're playing games and they're doing all of this and 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 they're playing games and X, Y, and Z and that type of stuff is happening, what do you think is going to happen? They're not going to be able to be productive. They're not going to be able to be procreative they're not going to be proactive they're not going to be active participants to produce they're not going to create anything right with you you're not going to see anything what you get from the very beginning is what you're going to get two three four five ten years later so whenever it is that you see taurus i'm just giving y'all some game but whenever it is that you see or you may observe that a person is one dimensional in that regard run and run fast the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups represents you should also, too, learn to create healthy boundaries. See, the Page of Swords in this tarot deck, right, the Dragon tarot deck represents, it's pointed down, which means that it represents um, uh, structure. It represents boundaries. It represents marking a territory, right? A sacred space. So you have to learn to understand when is when. And you're, and the, the best thing that you can learn as far as how to find a very good relationship, I'm looking outside. The best thing for you to learn how to find a good relationship is to understand what to say no to. I told y'all, one of, one of my friends told me one of the coldest things that one of my friends told me was, my friend told me, our Seer the Duke of Tears told me, told me um, one of the one of the most powerful in no, 
Isaiah said, the thing in life that you must understand is when it comes to dating and when it comes to anything else, that it's more about what it is that you say no to than what it is that you say yes to. That was some of the coldest. I mean, that I was I was sitting down thinking about that, but then for like 15 minutes, like, wow, it, it, it was that profound. The three of cups, <laughs> the three of cups now represent too, you know, and stop letting people treat you like you're just like one of the others. And, you know, there's no kind of direction. There's no kind of, you know, kind of plan. There's no kind of, well, I'm, you know, we're hanging out right now. I'm hanging out with you. Eventually, if you play your cards right, things are going to become more serious. You know what I mean? And you're actually seeing the progression. You're actually seeing things actually start to pick up. Oh, you know, why don't why don't we start hanging out a little bit more? Why don't you move in? Why don't you, you know what I mean? Uh, why don't we spend some more time together? All that stuff is progression because you're actually starting to see, hey, this is a person that is, is investing. They're investing their time. So just take that into consideration, right? I know that a lot of you Taurus are right now in a time, excuse me, of self-reflection. And you should, but just know what to look out for, okay? Even though I know you're taking a recess for this week, but that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, trying to get this YouTube channel to 3,500 subscribers by the end of January. Comment on the video, excuse me, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever uh i drop the videos now i also want to say too i also want to bring your attention to i do have two books out they are out right now the clipothic magic for the brave that's a book that i just dropped a few days ago please go ahead and check out that book people have been asking me you know, what are, what are the benefits? How do you get in the clip off? What, what's going on? How do you accumulate more power? How do you get more money? What's going on? Buy the book. The book is cheap. Okay. The book is cheap as far as the asking price. Everyone should be able to afford one. Uh, also to buy my book from the beginning to the end. A lot of people ask me, well, what does beginning to the end mean? Beginning to the end of time is what it means beginning to the end of what most people consider time to be and how it is that when you have a soul and how it is that when you're doing good work, there is no such thing as time for you. It means it to me, it means a lot of different things. And like I said before, it, it, it took me a whole couple of months for me to, to write it, didn't have a computer, had to write it out by hand. So all of that, um, Please go check out those books. You know what I mean? I would really appreciate it if you would. I even have a soft cover, hard cover for Clipothic Magic for the Brave out now. Thank you. I appreciate it. Peace.